Your morning cup of joe might be more beneficial to your health than you think. According to a study by the University of Southern California, it could very well lower the risk of colorectal cancer. Joining us now, Dr. Scott Ackerman from the Ackerman Cancer Center. Good to have you here. Thanks. So what are you thinking about the, uh, the research? The research is interesting. You know, um, we know that coffee has lots of good benefits. Uh, coffee helps uh, decrease our risk of liver disease. It uh, promotes a healthy heart and, uh, and uh, prevents diabetes. We've known those sort of things. And uh, now the study shows that uh, coffee can reduce one's risk of colon cancer and significantly. And, and, and the, the, the caffeine's not the only compound that's coming into play here. Correct. Um, when this recent study looked at 9,000 individuals, half of which had colon, colorectal cancer and half didn't, and they looked at the lifestyle and the coffee drinking habits of both groups. And they found that it didn't matter, that, that, that they found that the risk of colon cancer or rectal cancer was lower in the group of patients, in, in patients that drank, or, I'm sorry, let me rephrase it, that those people that did not have colon cancer drank more coffee than those that did. And those that did not have colon cancer, were, they found they would have a 25% decreased risk of colon cancer if you drink one to two cups a day, and almost a 50% decreased risk if you drink two or three cups a day. And it didn't matter whether it was caffeinated or decaf. So the caffeine really isn't coming into play in diminishing one's risk for colon cancer. But there are some other variables here because a lot of it depended on the, the bean, the roast, and the brew, too, as to how effective it was. Right, and so some of the stronger coffees that have uh, that, that produce different chemicals when they're roasted may ha may have an effect on decreasing one's risk a little bit more. So certain dark roasts are a little bit better than light roasts, but even the lighter roasts uh, do well uh, do well also. So when the coffee beans are roasted, chemicals are produced in that roasting process. Chemicals, not just caffeine, but uh, polyphenols and mel uh, uh, melatonoids, those sort of chemicals. And these are antioxidant chemicals for the most part. And this antioxidant, anti-inflammatory effect uh, is, thought to, uh, is, is thought to be associated with the decreased risk of colon cancer. We know that some drugs like, like aspirin and non-steroidal anti-inflammatories also reduce one's risk of colon cancer. So it's postulated that these chemicals that are produced in the roasting of the coffee have the same effect. And also, there's other, other chemicals in the roasting of the coffee that increase the motility of the bowel, move feces and uh, move it through the bowel more quickly so, they don't, so, the, so the, um, the, the waste in the bowel doesn't sit there for a long period of time fermenting and causing uh, creation of toxins in the colon. A lot of people are prone to putting you know, milk, cream, sugar, sweet and low, Splenda, whatever, into their coffee. Are we potentially ruining the health benefits by putting these additives in? Well, putting the additives in isn't going isn't to diminish the benefit of colon cancer reduction. But a lot of people have these coffees, these big frappuccinos with a lot of milk and sugar and those sort of things, and that's going to lead to weight gain, and that's going to offset the health benefits of coffee. So yeah, I recommend low-fat milk, fat-free milk, almond milk, those sort of things. Instead of using sugar, use Splenda's Fine or Stevia, those sort of things to diminish the, the sugar intake. So you don't want, you want to make it like it's not a dessert, you know, yeah. although... It does make a good dessert. For now, e even though the study's you know pretty interesting, there's more research that needs to be done. Oh, absolutely. And this isn't a prospective study. This is looking, meaning that we haven't taken 100 people and give 50 coffee, 50 drink coffee every day, and 50 don't. We're looking at this retrospectively, looking at people who've already been diagnosed with colon cancer and comparing with with, with age matched controls. And there's some uncertainty with that. Dr. Ackman, always a pleasure. Good to have you here. You can keep up with the latest health headlines by going to newsforjacks.com. Just look on the health page, Jen.